Hello there, this is the Bookkeeper Master on YouTube. Welcome to another Zero training video. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the products and services feature on Zero accounting software. Go to business and click on products and services. This will take you to the products and services page, which looks like this. We have a list of the products and services that have been added to this Zero software. It could be your list is blank because no products or services have been added. That's absolutely fine. There are a few reasons why you may use products and services. Number one is to pre-fill bills, purchase orders, sales invoices, sales orders with the product or service. If you add a product or service, you put in a description, the quantity, the price, that sort of thing. If you select that product or service, on a purchase order, a purchase invoice, which is a bill on zero, a sales invoice, a sales order, which is a quotation on zero, it will fill in the information for you. So by default, it will bring up that information and save you time. So if you have a particular product or service that you provide or sell frequently, it can save you time filling in that information every time you raise the sales invoice for that product or service. Hopefully that makes sense. I will demonstrate this later on in this video. Another reason why you might want to use products and services is to keep track of the products and services you're purchasing and selling. So if I click on golf balls here, it will list all the bills and invoices, that sales invoices, that relate to this item. So every time we've bought this item and every time we've sold this item. So that's another good thing about this feature. Another reason why you might want to use products and services is for reporting. So with products and services you can generate reports such as sales by product or sales by service. So it could be you want to really break down, hone in on your accounting data to see how much you're selling of a particular product in monetary terms so the reports can generate that for you. Another reason, and this is the, the fourth and final reason why you might want to use products and services, is to track inventory. So when you add a product or service, you can track the inventory and then show the cost of that inventory, the price of the inventory on the balance sheet. I've just said a lot. Four reasons. To pre-fill forms to generate reports to keep track of products and services you're buying and selling and then um, the final reason to track inventory. So how do we add a product or service to zero? Go to new item at the top right here and just fill in the details. So you need to add a code, any code you like. I'm going to put COD001 for my COD fillets which is the name of the product. If you want to track the inventory if you want this to show on the balance sheet, tick this box here. If not, leave it alone. If you want this item to show on the purchase side of zero, so bills, purchase orders, and other purchase transactions, fill in this information here. Then we have the same here for sales. So this item is something you're going to sell, fill it in here. You can then select this item when you're doing a quotation or a sales invoice. So just to demonstrate this, you know, if we're buying, say, Cod fillets for two pound, and we're going to go to purchases account. So this is the nominal account that you want the transaction to be posted to. The tax rate, the description. This is all the information it's going to pre-fill on a purchase order or bill when you select this item. I'll demonstrate that in a moment. And the same with sales invoices. Perhaps we sell them for five pounds, euros, dollars, whatever. We want that to go to the sales account and there's going to be tax on that sales tax. Once we're happy, we click save. This will then show on our list of products and services. Now to demonstrate this, if we go to say our contacts and I add a bill, ABC furniture. So we have a bill. It could also do a purchase order. Item, this is where you're going to select your product or service. So I can do my COD, so COD001, COD fillets. If I click on that, you can see all of this information, the description, the unit price, the nominal account, the tax rates, all been done for me. 
Let's say we're buying 10 of these. We can now approve that and that's done. So it brings up the information for you automatically by what has been entered on the product itself. And we could we can do the same with um, purchase orders. But if I now do a sales invoice, just to demonstrate that it's the same thing. So a sales invoice, it could be a sales credit note, whatever. Okay, so once again, we find our item card. Let's say we've sold five of these. We can approve that. Now, if I go back to products and services and click on products and services, like I just did, and go to card fillets, we can now see the invoice and the bill that have been allocated to this product. If I wanted to generate report now, let's go to reports in here. So accounting reports. And perhaps you can do sales by item. That's one of the reports you can do. You can see my cod fillets here, the amount we've sold and the price. And there are other reports that you can run to that break down uh, or categorize information by products or services. Hopefully this has helped. It's a very basic overview, very quick overview of products and services. This is how it works. You can go and add another one and then use that on your purchase invoices, purchase orders, quotation sales, whatever. Thank you for watching and I'll speak to you in another video.